by Lolita C. Balder and Robert Burns Associated Press Washington, the top U. S. commander for the Middle East said Thursday that the United States will keep the current two, 500 troops in Iraq for the foreseeable future, and he warned that he expects increasing attacks on U and Iraqi personnel by IRA. Marine General Frank McKenzie said in an interview with the Associated Press at the Pentagon that despite the shift by U forces to a non-combat role in Iraq, they will still provide air support and other military aid for Iraq's fight against the Islamic State. Noting that Iranian-backed militias want all Western forces out of Iraq, he said an ongoing uptick in violence may continue through December. They actually want all U forces to leave, and all U forces are not going to leave, he said, adding that as a result, that may provoke a response as we g. The Iraqi government earlier Thursday announced the conclusion of talks on ending the U combat mission against IS. U forces have been largely in an advisory role for some time, so the announced transition changes little. The announcement reflects a July decision by the Biden administration to end the U combat mission in Iraq by December 31st. We've drawn down from bases we didn't need, we've made it harder to get at us. But the Iraqis still want us to be there. They still want the presence, they still want the engagement, said McKinsey. So as long as they want it, and we can mutually agree that's the case, we're going to be there. He said he believes Islamic State militants will continue to be a threat in Iraq and that the group will keep recreating itself, perhaps under a different name. The key, he said, will be to ensure that IS is not able to coalesce with other elements around the globe and become increasingly strong and dangerous. America invaded Iraq in 2003, and at the peak point had more than 170, 000 troops battling insurgents in the country and later working to train and advise Iraqi forces. All U forces were withdrawn at the end of 2011, but just three years later, American troops were back to help Iraq beat back the Islamic State group, which had swept across the border from Syria to gain control of a large swath of the country. The U presence in Iraq has long been a flashpoint for Tehran, but tensions spiked after a January 2020 U drone strike near the Baghdad airport killed a top Iranian general. In retaliation, Iran launched a barrage of missiles at Al Assad Air Base, where U troops were stationed. More than 100 service members suffered dramatic brain injuries in the blasts. More recently, Iranian proxies are believed responsible for an assassination attempt last month on Iraq's Prime Minister Mustafa al-Qadimi. And officials have said they believe Iran was behind the October drone attack at the military outpost in southern Syria where American troops are based.